What's up everybody? We're gonna do a cigar review today for once. Hopefully I am doing the review like two months before this one comes out in the Adventure Club. We've got a cigar here. I think it's kind of one of the newer blends from this brand. In the past, I have really enjoyed some of Hoya de Nicaragua's cigars. But there's also cigars that have, it's from them, that kind of have a budget-ish element to them. And I haven't always been impressed. Like, I don't remember if it's the red one or the silver one. I think I actually like the Hoya Black, but don't hold me to that. Uh, some, some of their cigars I've really enjoyed. Some of them, not so much. But this is one that's probably one of the most expensive Hoya de Nicaragua cigars that they've ever made. Also, don't hold me to that. But this is a limited edition. They're very proud of this. This should be one of the best cigars from them. And I'm kind of excited, not kind of, I'm very excited to smoke it. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. Uh, if you've heard over the last few videos, we've been making a lot of not only improvements, but enhancements to the platform. And we are in the process of adding a bunch of, of new lounges. So since COVID, a lot shut down. We're trying to stay on top of that. There have also been a lot of new ones that have opened up since uh, 2020. Some that were planned to and didn't, some that actually did. And we are doing our very, very best, I promise you, to get all of these listings updated. So go over there, find your place where you go and buy your cigars and leave them an honest review. Upload a photo, even if it's just a photo of the box that they mailed your cigars in, and it'll really help them out. Call them up and see if they have the Hoya, Hoya, it's not Hoyo, Hoya de Nicaragua Cinco de Cinco. Now, I'm pretty sure that just means five of five. That's probably the direct translation. It might mean something else, or five out of five. It might mean that. So, like, perfect score? I don't know. But this is the Cinco de Cinco from Hoya de Nicaragua. Um, I texted myself the uh, stats here so I can pull them up real quick. This cigar, $17.60, six by 38, or sorry, six and three eighths by 46 ring gauge. This is the Corona Extra. We have a Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Yep, you know I like that. And that's probably why I selected this one. And Nicaraguan uh, binders and fillers. So Mexican San Andreas wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, filler, $17.60. Let me give you a close up of this and we're going to get it cut and lit. I'm gonna apologize now. By the end of this video, we're gonna lose our light. I'll probably have to turn on the overheads. So the detail with which you can see my beautiful face right now is probably gonna go away by the end of the video. Let me pull up the close up camera. Oh, we have pigtail. Let's pull up the close up camera. Let's look at this thing. We're gonna get it cut and lit. All right, so here is the cigar in the shade, and uh, well, here's where it says Cinco de Cinco and Corona Extra right here. Oh, six and a quarter. I need to update that because I want to be correct. Let's just get this thing out of the cellophane. And if you know what Cinco de Cinco means, or if you are from Hoya de Nicaragua and watching this video, let me know. Let's get that set aside. But there you go. Uh, just for the record, this color, in case it's not coming up on the camera, this color is a forest green, dark green, and with gold and white accents. So the lettering is white. The medallion around it is gold. And uh, let's see, it looks like a pretty good cigar. It's got a little bit of a texture. It's not super oily. It's kind of dry. There's a little bit of a soft spot right here. You can maybe see how my finger is going into that. Maybe you can see that, I don't know. And then of course, like I mentioned, the pig tail end. The color grading is pretty good. So a nice, it feels light. I don't know why I even bring that up other than I've held tens of thousands of cigars. It feels a little bit light. It's got a slight box press to it. Maybe it's got less tobacco, I don't know. But let's get it cut and lit. Okay, another reason why I'm sitting here just chatting with you is I have a heater right there. So if it, if it does get any cooler, I can cool it down. 
We're going to snip off just the end of this. Remember, you can always cut more. You can never cut less on your cigars. So let's test the draw on that. It is about perfect. Uh, let's test the cold draw. Kind of woody. No, no complaints. Kind of good. Again, I'm not getting like rich, dark, oily from the cigar. I'm getting dry and leafy, but I'm still very, ooh, yeah, that first whiff of smoke is uh, very good, very good. That smells, <laughs> smells nice, smells very nice. Mmm, spicy and sweet, something candy sweet on there, wow. Okay. You, I, I have not cut. The first impressions on this are this is wonderful. The draw is great. I uh, can't really judge the burn yet, but we've got a nice like braille texture, so it seems to be a, a lightly toothy wrapper. This is kind of reminiscent of the Partigas Valle Verde. That's got a lot of Mexican San Andreas uh, wrapper, um, yeah, leaf in that. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of that, but that's also like half the price of this one. So we've gone over the details. I guess all I can do now is turn on this heater because it's just temperature is dropping um, and smoke this cigar. I'll be right back. We're very early. Uh, normally you would get the details and everything like 10 or 15 minutes into the cigar. So. I've already given you those, so I'm going to sit back and relax. Maybe I'll come back here in a few minutes and let you know how it's going. I know you guys love to I read all your comments. I try to respond to every single one. I know you guys like to tell you what I am tasting throughout the cigar. Sometimes it changes, sometimes it doesn't. But something very sweet, something leafy, woody. I'm not sure I'm getting any chocolatiness from that Mexican San Andres. Here's what I think so far. Again, just very, very much at the beginning. I like it. I don't know that it fits in with the $17, $18 cigars. I mean, you're talking like Liga Pravada Velvet Rat price. They have been hyping this a lot. I think it's a limited edition. It's expensive. The number, the quantity of boxes that we can get are very limited. And I don't know why. I don't know if that's justified, but it's good. Stick around, I'll keep you updated on the Hoya Cinco de Cinco, I don't know, Corona Extra? Yeah, the Corona Extra. I'll be right back to let you know how it's going. All right, well, just a few minutes have passed. I've only ashed the cigar once. And right before I did that, I wanted to tell you about a flavor change. Or right before I did that, I noticed it, and now I want to tell you about the flavor change. I'm getting a lot of pepper. A lot of black pepper in there, just like you'd crack on your Caesar salad. I had a Caesar salad yesterday, and it could have used a little bit of that cracked pepper on it, but it is a very distinctive flavor, and I am noticing that in this cigar. It is also more doughy and mellow at this point. We're getting a lot of flavor changes right now. So I think this is a very complex cigar, meaning the flavors are not only changing, but I'm tasting more than one thing at one time. I did a review of a cigar. I won't tell you what it is because I don't want to shit on them, but it was actually a good cigar, but I tasted the Habano wrapper just straight the whole time. It didn't change a whole lot. It wasn't terribly interesting. And regardless of whether or not I end up liking this cigar, it is very interesting. So we had that kind of leafy and sweet, then it got to be more of that cracked pepper, and now it's kind of, kind of something else, or that cracked pepper just like blasted my palate and I'm struggling to taste anything. I don't know. It seems to be more mellow right now. It's very good. The burn is almost razor sharp. The draw is good. Technically, this cigar is doing a, a fantastic job. Uh, personally, the flavors, they're pretty good, but we got a long ways to go. I just wanted to let you know. We had that flavor change. I thought it was kind of cool. I'll be right back to keep you updated. Okay, we're about 65 minutes on this cigar. Still going strong. Construction perfect. I took the label off. It was perfect. Uh, there have been several 
flavor changes. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering if jokingly, if the Cinco de Cinco means that if you smoke through this cigar, you will have smoked through five out of the five flavor changes. This cigar is incredibly complex, possibly one of the most complex cigars that I've ever had as in regards to the number of flavor changes that I have experienced. Right now, going into what I would probably call the final third, I'm getting spice that is, it's good. And I'm not, and, and don't take this the wrong way. It is so spicy, it's making my tongue tingle. It doesn't burn, it doesn't, it's not off-putting, it's not bad. It's just unique in a way that brings some tingling to the tip of my tongue and I find it fascinating, actually. The flavors are good, but I'm, I don't recall a time when I've had spiciness quite like this. So we're at 60, probably 66 minutes at this point. Just wanted to stop in, let you know, f flavor changes all over the place. If you tried to say this cigar is X, uh, it would be Y. If you said this cigar is Y, it would be Z or something. It is just, the, the changes are every 10 to 15 minutes and I find it fascinating how complex this cigar can be because I think for the most part tobacco is rolled in bunches, right? So you've got cigar, the filler leaf anyway, is generally going to be the same through the, the cigar lengthwise but it seems almost as if in this cigar you had shorter leaves or leaves that had been been torn and, and given you segments of flavor, 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 and flavor. Just wanted to pop in and tell you that I am enjoying the cigar. The construction is right at perfect. It's just very entertaining and not boring. It's not boring. And, and I was telling a, a friend of mine, it's almost better to be uh, unique and interesting and different than it is to be good because at least those other things are going to be memorable. There are a lot of just good cigars out there and they're not very memorable. And this one I think I'm going to remember for a long time just how different each section of this cigar truly is. Stick around and I'll let you know my final thoughts on the Hoya de Nicaragua Cinco de Cinco. Corona Extra. All right, we are at 80 minutes on the dot, and I'm almost, I'm done with the cigar, and I am getting very much kind of a jalapeno flavor. The heat from that is very different from the spice that we had before, so in the final half inch, we're getting yet another flavor change. This cigar was so interesting. It was so interesting. Because of the complexity and the amount of attention to detail that had to go into the blending of this cigar, that's got to be why this one is so expensive. I just did a, a short on YouTube. If you're not subscribed over there and you're watching this on Rumble, we're still on YouTube. And we don't really do the shorts on Rumble because they just don't translate very well. So if you want to see the shorts, make sure you go to youtube.com slash cigar score and, and, and find that so you can check out the shorts. But I asked the question, what makes a cigar complex? And sometimes it's age, sometimes it's a flavor, sometimes it's limited production, sometimes it's the cost of the tobacco, there's all sorts of things. Uh, but I think in this case, the expense of the cigar comes from the complexity and the varied flavors that went into this cigar. I don't know. We only got a limited quantity, so I'm not going to smoke through all of these. I'm going to save those for the Adventure Club, and I think you're going to want to be in the Adventure Club to try this one. It is just so interesting. But I think that complexity, that attention to detail, that, that complication of mixing and marrying all of the tobaccos together to create the cigars probably what drove the price of this one uh, up to 17 or 18 dollars so i'm going to give the hoya de nicaragua cinco de cinco corona extra a cigar score of five it's just very enjoyable the construction was 
nearly perfect. In fact, I have zero complaints at all. I'd probably say the construction was perfect. The flavor, we had things from uh, black, cracked black pepper to the uh, jalapeno spice there at the end, a tingling spice at the beginning of the final third. We had kind of leafy, leathery notes at the very beginning. So just, just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable for this cigar. I really enjoyed this one, and I think this is one that you're gonna want to experience. You may not love the flavors, and in fact, I would say I really enjoyed the flavors. I don't know that I necessarily loved them, but they were very enjoyable. It's not a particularly bold cigar, but I think it is characterized by a variety of spices. I think this is one you're gonna to wanna to try if you wanna head over to CigarScoreLounge.com, find the Adventure Club, it's right up at the top menu, it's one of our most popular products, and you can sign up for that, use coupon code CigarScore to get 10% off your first month, so you're gonna to wanna to try this one. Cigar Score of five for the Hoya de Nicaragua, Cinco de Cinco. Good cigar, guys. I can see why you are proud of this one. And it's probably one of, I mean, it should for the price, but I think it's probably one of the better Hoya cigars that I've ever had. And I've had not tons, but at least several. So Cigar Score of 5 for the Cinco to Cinco. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. I hope you have an amazing day. And as always, happy smoking.